Hi guys, and welcome to Cooking with Greg, episode 2. We're back, and today it's summer, it's hot outside, and we're going to be doing some great summery dishes to get all you guys going out there, out and about, having fun in the sun. So, today I think we'll do a start. Last time we did one course today, we'll be an adventurous. We're doing two. So, tomato soup. Lovely! Right, now, to do your tomato soup, you're going to need some tomatoes. Simple as that. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Now the first thing you do for making tomato soup is you chop your tomatoes. Simple logic really isn't it? So uh, choose a nice big juicy one, any one you like. Red is a good colour for tomatoes. So I'll do that. Ooh, I'll do like that. Now you want to get the juice out because the juice is really good for your soup so squeeze it down like that. Okay, put all your pulp, all your juice in there. Lovely. Oh, and it's just. And then you know, you want, garnish is always important. So this one, we're just going to leave like that. Now, tomato. Always a good basis for a tomato soup. Now, what next? You're thinking? Well, egg, tomato. It goes well, you know. There we go. Oh, oh, lovely. What else have we got in my little box of ingredients? Well, oh, that's good. Peach yogurt. Peach yogurt. Get that out there. Get in. Uh, that one, I suppose. Oh, oh yes. Oh, mmm. Mm. So, there's one more ingredient, guys. For a lot of recipes, use maybe wine or vinegar or anything like that. With this, we're going to use fruit squash. Oh, that's good. It's good, you know. Camera two, do you want to have a look at this? No? There we go. Oh, oh doesn't that just look good? These things. I'm going to leave a bit of mixing because obviously just like that is just a bowl of ingredients. So, a little bit of a mix. Mmm, <coughs> that is so good. Great sample because this needs to be simmered on the oven for a while. That is the most delicious thing I have ever tasted. Seriously, that's so good it makes me want to throw up. <laughs> right, guys, well, you've seen it. That is how you make Greg's own tomato soup. It's delicious stuff. Oh, that is so good. Oh, orgasmic. Okay, right, so we're going to put this in the oven to simmer for about four to five days and. Uh, And we're back for the third and final segment of the show. We're doing the main course. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a chicken and vegetable pie. First thing you're obviously going to need for making a pie is the pastry. So, what do you do with pastry? Well, you need flour, you need butter, and you need a bit of water. I've been working this pastry for about 10 minutes now. And look, there we go. That is a nice, proper piece of pastry. They're perfect. And of course, you need a bit of flour on your work surface just so it doesn't stick. So there we go. And there. Okay, put it down and <laughs> stop eating it. Especially, stuck over like that, so I tear that. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, that's just, just stick that. It's not an easy thing to make, so what you do is you get masking tape. Genius. I picked this up from a chef in Mumbai on my travels last year when I was extradited from the country for. Well, we won't go into that. Masking tape, you know, sir tape also works. It is transparent. It's just not quite so nice to eat. Oh, there we go. Perfect pie base, ready to fill. I just need to stand for about five minutes. We'll be back there. So here is our completed pie base. Fresh from that face I made earlier. You've got your offcuts, which don't throw them away. Mmm, because you'll need them for the roof of the pie. Otherwise, you're just making a quiche, and only gay people make quiches. I said chicken and vegetable pies, that's exactly what we're going to make. So obviously the first thing to do is to get your chicken. Which isn't chicken, it's turkey. Now you've got to want to cook that, obviously, rather well. Raise it off quite nicely. A little bit of butter, get it nice and golden brown. Ah, that's good. Hold the butter off. That's going to cook off really nicely. You can see that simmering in there. That'll take between one minute and three hours. Now, pie base. Carrots. This is 
is how the professionals do it. You want to cook them now beforehand, or <laughs> put them all in the pie and then cook the pie as a whole. That is up to you completely. I'm not going to judge you either way. It all just really varies on what type of food poisoning you give your guests. Now that, on its own, is a, a treat fit for Bugs Bunny. But obviously, he is an animated character. He won't be attending your dinner party unless you have severe mental deficiencies. <laughs> What's next, you might ask? Well, cress. It is really good stuff, cress. And it is so simple to prepare. Cress. <laughs> Just like that. Well, that breaks my part a bit. Oh, see what? These pie places are very delicate. So this is where we use a bit more mustard. <laughs> a bit more tape. Now, <laughs> caramel and cress pie, as lovely as that sounds, it's just not complete without some peas. <laughs> so, <laughs> lovely. Now you've got a bit of juice in there, but juice is always good. It keeps your pie really, oh, these are marrow fat peas. Runner beans, why not runner beans? Of course, you've got to remember to chop the runner beans really well. <coughs> and now do be careful when using a knife, they are very dangerous. And you've got your runner beans in your pie. You might think, great, well, what more could you want in a pie? Well, I'm going to tell you more what more you could want. For a start, you're going to want more of your squash, because squash is the best friend of cooking with Greg. Little bit, summery flavours, summery flavours. Now, I can assure you, this isn't a yolk. No, you get it. Get your knife, slap it, and like that. There we go. No, why not? Yeah. I wasn't even planning on putting these in, but they were there. And finally, your chicken or your turkey, whichever one. And then you put it in your pie. And last but by no means least, continuing the summary thing. Half pineapple. The other half, use it as a garnish. Why not? Use it as a hat. You need to put the roof on your pie and then. Just like that. So you put it in the oven, it'll stay there for between three to four days, three to four hours. Right, and that mm, is chicken and vegetable pie. Mm -hmm. We'll come back when it's cooked. Hey guys, I'm back. Towards the end of the show now, and it's time to look at the finished dishes. So, what did we start with? We started with tomato soup, you remember it. A lot of great stuff in there, lots of mayonnaise, ketchup. Doesn't that look good? That does look, mm. Now, if you remember, we had my good friend Luke from Southampton in the studio. I cooked him a lovely chicken and vegetable pie. Yeah, and there was always foil there, of course. Um, and now, I'm gonna cut the pie. Here we are, a lovely summery twist on a British classic. Chicken and veg pie. Shall we see what my taste team think of it? Let's go to the taste team. Okay guys, the show is coming to a close soon. We've just about got enough time to look at the finished meal. Now Luke, you wanted something bread based, so we've got your pastry and your pie. Yeah. Also got some soup. Now bread goes well with soup, so we're going to try with the bread. Let's go for the soup. Right, everyone, just tuck in. Mmm. The soup's good. This pastry is very nice. Yeah, I mean the few mm. hours in the oven with the soup have really yeah. got that flavour. Great smells, great smells. Mm. Nice and crisp. Very crisp. Much like a crisp would be. Well, as you can see, this meal has gone down a storm. But there's no storms here because it's the middle of summer and we're having a great time in the Cooking with Greg garden. See you next time, guys. Mm -hmm. Away. <laughs> and that is that is going to be so. <laughs> so yeah, that looks something, guy. Wow, what a wanker. I mean, seriously. Oh. That needs to fit in the dish. <laughs> <laughs> Three sample, because this needs to be simmered on the oven for a while. <laughs> 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 
That is the most delicious thing I have ever tasted. Seriously, that is so good. <laughs> That's so good, it makes me want to throw up. <laughs> it's that delicious. Now, this needs to simmer in the oven for a while. 